In this notebook, you will see how to use two techniques for searching for optimal combination of parameters, grid search and randomized grid search. All is already included in scikit-learn modules and it's waiting for being used. Let's prepare the necessary code. As usual, begin with loading the required libraries and setting seed for reproducibility. Then, generate a difficult dataset of 1000 samples and 20 features. Finally, define a cross-validation strategy that will divide data into 10 stratified shuffled folds. It's time to see how to use grid search. We need to create a so-called parameters grid, which is a dictionary of parameters and their values we want to test. In this example, we'll check three values for maximum tree depth, four values for the number of estimators, and three values for learning rate. Then, we will prepare another dictionary, but this time it will hold only those parameters that will be fixed, the objective function, and one for reducing the generated output. When it's ready, you can prepare a grid search CV estimator and pass all previously defined variables, most importantly, the parameters grid. Before executing the fit method, it's useful to have a rough estimation about how many models will be created. In our case, there will be all 36 combinations of features times each cross-validation fault which results in 360 models. When the calculations are done, we can take a glance at all obtained scores. In the output, you can see an average and standard deviation for the accuracy and according parameters combination. If the number of rows is small, you can try to manually spot which parameters are responsible for the best outcome. To instantly know what was the best score, you can access the best score property of the estimator. Remember that searching for optimal combinations of parameters is an iterative process. Each time you should analyze the results and adjust certain parameters in the next run. In this case, it's easy to see that the score is very related to the number of trees. It would be a good idea to repeat the test with greater values for an estimator and check the results. Let's see how randomized version of grid search works. The problem with grid search is that the number of all possible combinations grows very rapidly. Sometimes there are too many models to check in reasonable time. A solution might be to randomly pick certain number of parameter combinations knowing their possible values for distribution. This method does not perform exhaustive check, but it's definitely worth trying out. To begin, create a dictionary holding possible values for tested parameters. In this example, values for max depth and gamma will be chosen from provided arrays, and for the last four parameters, we will specify statistic distribution, uniform or Gaussian. Next, initialize a randomized search CV estimator specifying a number of iterations to run. In this case, we will set it to 10. By executing a fit method, the search will begin. As in previous example, you can take a look at all 10 created models and their performance. There are also some handy properties enabling fast access to the best estimator, score and parameters. In summary, both grid and randomized grid search allow to precisely fine-tune the classifier. They are intended to be used iteratively. In each next round, you should give your parameters a better range of possible values. Also, watch out for the total number of created models as the calculations might take a long time to finish.